the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I, and I, I'm, 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 I have no understanding of that. You know, what is it about us that vexes these uh, Anglo-Saxons to the point to where they do everything to keep us down? There's something about that. Yeah. That I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on a revelation of God. Because there, there's there's something about us that Satan does not want to manifest or us to actually understand, because he's using these Anglo-Saxons to really, really put their thumb down on us, on people of color. Yeah, Somebody and to somebody... keep us separated and divided. There's something about that. I don't know what it is right now, but I'm telling you, that is something that I'm, I've been uh, asking God about because I think in, in knowing that will be the information needed to free us from that, from, from the division, from right. the self-hate, from the the the... the the self-destruction because we, we we're pretty much the only people on this earth that cannot come together <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting though I, I think it is that when you look at uh what's happening with russia and ukraine you're talking about people who actually look to, look close yeah and, they, and you know what and that's why they're not going in and doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's why they're just lobbing <laughs> oh, missiles and shooting, shooting long. It's, it's all done long distance. I think, wait, wait. I, I think I think they uh they they getting their butts kicked, Russia, if they come in hand to hand. I think that's the problem, right? Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't, you you can't, you can't, you cannot distinguish uh -uh. <laughs> one from another. If they speak your language, they look like you, and all they got to do is dress like you. I told them, I, I talking to to somebody the other day. I said the recruit, re, the this one. Ukrainians' form of battle should be with their backs toward their enemy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So that they can't recognize who they are. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> so other words, but they can. They, they are killing each other. Because I, I, you know, I really don't think. I think that the social construct of the five with color is is what's what's just another part of the enemy's. Uh, what you call it? That's part of the chaos you talk about the sin in this world. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but I do know in this Ukraine and Russia is a good example. And I even asked the question of. Uh, with those Midwest states, countries, but I mean states, Montana, and, uh, Wisconsin, and all those places, you may have less than a percentage of blacks in that country. You may have one percent. And here's the question I ask: Do you still have murder? Do you still have rape? Do you still have robbery? Do you still have break-in? You know what I mean? In other yeah. words. All it has nothing to do with that. I think those issues is because of social construct. And I think that's what threw people off. They even had on a little TikTok thing, bro, <laughs> is why the, like you just said, is in order for them to fight each other, they have to not see each other. But yet they do see each other. Yeah. And they, they're killing each other. Now, don't get wrong. Those soldiers, those soldiers, in Russia, that I know you've seen on the TV, they talk about their, their morale is down. You know why it's down? Because they're killing their own, you know, they're killing people that look like them. Yeah. They they're killing people who's related to them. Come on, cousins. 
Yeah, yeah. No different than than the Civil War here. Yeah, yeah. You know, there 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 there's a heavy heavy weight on their souls when they actually see and realize what they're doing. Yeah. You yeah. know, um, that's why it is so important to blind the eyes and the minds of those people mm -hmm. so that they don't know the atrocities that are being done. Yeah, you don't know for the nation. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he lied to him. He got in front of him. We were, we were liberating people in the rally he just had last week, right? But what I want to show you the fact is that it, color has nothing to do with this issue of man killing man. You know what I mean? I know we want to, I know I agree with you saying that that's because of social construct. What I'm saying is, if you took all the white, black people out of this world, you still, do you agree we still have wars? Right? Oh yeah, because that's that's just the way this, this world system is. That is how it is, right. It, it, it doesn't but right now it's just easy. It's easy to do, yeah, yeah. So. Right. Because you know what? You can't even tell a soldier uh, when you look at the, when you do get a chance, look at the uh, conflict, the soldiers on that battlefield. The only way you could tell that that's not a Russian or, or Ukrainian is it's a patch. It's the color that they put on their uniform. Yeah. You, you see a green, you know, you got your green uniform on. You couldn't tell whether that's, uh, just like you couldn't tell if they had BDUs on, you can tell one soldier from another. It's only the patch. And in this case, they actually put the bright colors on their uniform. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Man, it is. man is man is made in the image of God, but man still wants to kill each other. We talked no. about we talked about that way. I, I I can guarantee that's the last thing that's on these folks' minds. By being an image of God, ain't it? Yeah. They don't see God. But yet not at all. And that's that's what they're made in the image of. I just want to throw that in people to 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 kind of wrap it up is the fact that what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul to the point that what profits somebody to kill? His fellow man. What what profit is steal from your fellow man? Jesus is saying, if you know me, if you you love me, if you're a God, child of God, right? If, I'm just saying that's the equation he was given. We should both to love one another, but it's clear we can't even love one another. That's a, that's that's a tragedy by itself. Amen. Amen. All right, good bro. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. You'll give us a prayer out. And uh and I because I always gotta edit these things and it's, it's the longer it is, the harder it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let us let us pray. Father, we we thank you again. We give you all the glory and honor for yeah. everything that was done, especially those things that are done according to your will. That's your will. Uh, we we thank you for the Holy Spirit being a part of this. Yes. Uh, particular Bible study and yes. and and leading us and and helping us to connect with you and telling us those things as you would have us to know. Yes. We thank you that we hear with all clarity and understanding, Lord God, and so we truly, truly desire to apply those things that we learn of you to yes. our lives. Uh, continue to expose your will to us hmm. continue to expose yourself to us yes, as yes. we move in these days that are so full of hate hmm. and deceit lord god help us stay focused on you as true heavenians lord god yes. seeking to press your kingdom yes. in this dying world hmm. seeking to Proclaim Jesus Christ as the Lord of our lives yes. and doing that with authority and power 
and signs following so that we may draw those who are ripe for the harvest mm. into your kingdom. Yes, Lord Jesus. As we go forth, Lord God, uh, sharing the gospel. Sharing the gospel. Sharing yes. the kingdom. Presenting ourselves as living sacrifice. Oh, Lord. So that you can have your way yes. in this world. We thank you. We give you the glory and the honor and the praise and believe that it is so. It is in so. Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, brother. But the whole point is that, like I said, sharing the gospel. I I just uh, just want to just encourage that we could just, the people just share, you know, during the lunchtime, <laughs> during the family time, sharing the gospel. So we can, you know, how you like the fact is that when you come in here, those scripts you don't know what script is going to be presented, but they but once you start reading them, they become alive to you. Oh man, they they they, they speak to me. Yeah, uh, I, I I I just I can't take credit for any of this. I just I truly thank God that uh, the Holy Spirit helps me mm -hmm. uh, to understand what is the spiritual implications and applications yes. of the world not just the, not just the face value of it not just what my human intellect gleans from it right you know not not my understanding and not what i believe it says but what god is actually saying yes. so if yes. god says you know go go grab that dog I'm not going out and grabbing a black dog and he's talking about a gray dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have that spiritual connection to actually know. And I just truly thank God for that. And it has nothing to do with me, it has nothing to do with, with, with any position that I desire or anything like that. I'm not trying to lift myself up or anything like that. It's just that I, I truly love God. And it is my desire to really get close and understand him and understand Jesus Christ. And I just believe his word and, and I apply my faith. In it. And I think what, I, what, I, what I'm encouraging is that when you say sharing, I think that many, there's at least willing, talking about from family and friends, that sometimes sharing the gospel and opening up the scriptures just and it's, I know it's so hard to do, but how did, it shouldn't be hard to do, but it's a blessing when it's done. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey man, is we did with the scripture right here. I wonder how much conversation would come from just doing what we just do on small scales, individual contact, or just fellowship. It could be just one scripture, it's good, right? Because yeah. one, one scripture, I bet you was still influence the flood of God's revelation to those individuals. So that's my recommendation is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Maybe sometimes we can meet some, you know, share with the wife. Hey, let's talk about these scriptures. Not all of them, just a few. Uh -huh. I think you said we, we was good with the first three we did, right? Just the beginning. Right? When we did eight, I think it was a, whatever the scriptures were in the beginning. It was, it was something that triggered the, the 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 Holy Spirit to start teaching. So I encourage you to do that. I'm gonna do it. Is what I'm trying to say. And then in the workplace, sometimes just maybe one scripture in the hallway. Hey, I read the scripture. What do you think about it? <laughs> and let them read it too, because they don't. You know the problem is right. A lot of people don't remember a lot. Of, and I, it's just fine because the Bible is big. It's huge. But I think it's easy sometimes just show it. Hey, you know, like you know, a piece of paper or something. Hey, hey man, look, we ahead. walk around with this thing I every know. day. I know, ain't that something, brother? It gives every up. day, and 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 the the Bible's right at your fingertips. Wow. There, there's, 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 it's right there. Yeah. Um. So th there's really <laughs> technology has its place. Yeah. You know, he. he it, it can be detrimental, but it also can be used to further the kingdom. 
you know, I say I I really think that te technology has really yeah. made us a a world of instant. Yes. You know, a world of the now, of the yes. instant, of the you know, we 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 order our food, we want it now. That microwave just messed us up. <laughs> it really has. When you really, really think about it, if you didn't have a microwave, how would you warm your food up? Would you know how to warm your food up now? No, you're gonna have to go back and recook it and heat up on the pan. Thank you. My my wife, my a while ago, it was years ago, my microwave <laughs> broke and we couldn't figure out how to rewarm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took some thought you know we had to sit back and think I, man i don't want to just recook this stuff all over how am i gonna warm it <laughs> and, I'm just like, and, and how, how, how do you warm up stuff <laughs> you know but it takes a while if you don't have that microwave yeah. and so that the, we we've we've come a a world of 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 impatience you, you know, know it, we're know so it. impatient we want everything now yeah i know it. you know it's you think about people people walking yeah everywhere <laughs> and the time it takes and we get in traffic and, and about lose our mind <laughs> but we're still moving you know at least as fast as a walk pace even if you stop exactly. the time you spent stop you still gonna reach your destination faster than people who used to walk. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, let alone flying. But yeah, and that, and that's why you know I even did. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if you seen it yet. I even did a. I labeled a, a, a video three minutes. I call it three minute nugget. I don't know if you seen it yet. What I did was I took those TikTok move uh, video. Uh huh. And I made them a, I made them a YouTube video. In other words, I made it, I took the, uh, inserted the video and made it a YouTube video or, or a presentation. Take a look at it. It's, it's, but it's, look, the point I said, I titled it Three Minutes. Uh -huh. And I bet you, I want to see what the, uh, how many people would hit it just because of the fact they see that first beginning of it. Three minutes? Oh, I got three, three minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> it, 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 it might make a difference. <laughs> but, it might make a difference. Like I said, we, we're a word of world of, of instant. Yeah. We got so much going on that we we can't take time to, to, to uh we don't, yeah, have time we, to look at things. We don't even want we don't even want to wait three minutes. For a boiled egg. Nope. I know. We, we, <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got to make something to stick it in the microwave for less than a minute. <laughs> yeah. Right? For 10 minute rice or whatever it's called, right? So, yeah. But the bottom line is that it takes, like you said, good, good point. You got the text, you got the phone, you can share a script with one or two and, and with anybody. And I think it's still be a blessing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just share. God bless you. Hey, have a good week. Uh, enjoy yourself. What do you plan on doing this week? Anything coming up? Oh, uh, I got I got some appointments I got to get get taken care of, and uh, really just just uh, spending time with my family. That's pretty much it for the most part. Amen. Amen. Hey, well, that, my encouragement is share some word with them while you're doing it. That's all. Oh, talking. most definitely. Definitely. That's a blessing right there. I think that's you get more benefit from it when you do, when we try. Yeah. Same time, prophet is not it's not with honor. He does, he has honor stuff in his own home. So that's that's yeah, it. yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. You see. All that. right, be blessed. Take care. Bye bye. Hey man, y'all be blessed. Share the gospel, whoever's gonna want to listen. That's all I can leave with that. And uh, we'll see you next week. Amen. God bless you. Oh, I'll be on YouTube. So I'm going to put these videos on YouTube. I'm doing a three-minute one. Yeah, I'm doing these. i put them on the blog, too. I'm trying to get more people to look at the, at the blog. So God bless you. Hope you get a chance to look at these videos. Amen. Take care. Bye-bye.